Katie Allman reporting for TTNHD Production Live here with actor Stephen Bishop who played David Justice in Moneyball. How does it feel to have the Oscars coming up and having been in such an incredible movie? Oh, it's fantastic. I mean, to, to have uh, the first major part that I that I was in uh, go this far is is outstanding. I mean, it's such a great ride. It's been it's been so exciting because I mean, from start to finish, it's been you know completely high end. It's been completely A list with Brad and Philip and Jonah and Bennett and Wally and Scott and Michael. I mean, I, the the list goes on of A list and and Oscar winning and nominated people. So. Uh, when I first got involved with it, just to be a part of it was was so exciting for me. And then as it as it started going and going and going, and then when it came out, it was just like, wow, this is really, this is really kind of getting big. You know what I mean? And now to have it, you know, have six six Oscar nominations, I mean, it's I'd like to say it's you know beyond my wildest dreams, but it is actually my wildest dream. <laughs> you know, so uh, it's it's been fantastic. I can't say enough good things about it. Great. And you played college baseball and pro baseball, so that must have helped you get into character. Uh, yeah, I played college baseball at University of California at Riverside, and uh, I played professionally for Atlanta and Baltimore. Uh, and yeah, so getting into character wasn't, wasn't diff difficult, especially since I knew David. I mean, David and I were friends for, you know, 15 or 16 years before this came about. Uh, David was a superstar with Atlanta when I was a rookie with Atlanta and he took me under his wing and uh, literally walked me around the clubhouse and told everybody hey listen this is my little brother you treat him like you treat me and you know he took me to dinner took me to Atlanta Hawks games you know he was really like a big brother to me so when the part came along it was it was so serendipitous that it, it, it just had to be mine you know what I mean when I first saw the breakdown for it I said you know, I told my agent, I actually was sitting in my agent's office when someone texted me with the breakdown, and I read it, and I said, okay, hold on, we have to stop what we're talking about. There's another movie, there's a movie coming out called Moneyball, there's a part in it for David Justice, that's my part, we have to call them right now. Yeah. So we literally called them, and uh, they brought me in a couple of days later, and I, they asked me, you know, I started my audition process, first thing they asked was about my baseball experience, and I... I told him, yeah, I played college and professionally, and then I said, I know David, and I told him how, and I said, and I said all of that just to say that there's no one on earth more prepared to play this role than I am, yeah. unless you go get David, which yeah. you're <laughs> clearly not doing, so, you know. Yeah. It's got to be me, yeah. Yeah, and, it, you know, and it wasn't an easy process. I mean, I had to go through four auditions, and I had to wait for six weeks or something like that to find out that I got the part, so I was driving my manager, Margie Weiner, and my agent, Ethan Salter, absolutely crazy throughout, throughout that entire time but it was well worth it and I was uh, very happy to be a part of it. Wonderful and you were also in Safe House which came out this weekend how was that? Uh, working on Safe House was fantastic I mean Denzel Washington is my favorite actor and in my opinion the, the greatest black actor of all time so to get an opportunity to work opposite him and to see how he prepares during a, during a scene in between takes and things like that was I mean was invaluable. I mean I couldn't I couldn't have asked for a better opportunity. Uh, unfortunately, the the bulk of that scene you know currently resides on a cutting room floor somewhere. But I'm still in there a little bit, and uh, you know the movie itself is fantastic. Uh, Denzel kills it. Uh, Ryan kills it. It's it, it's it, it's like an hour and forty five minutes of fighting. You know what I mean? <laughs> it's it's guns and cars exploding and gu uh, and fighting and blood and. I don't think there's anything much other than that, and, okay. you know. What I mean? But it's 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 a really good movie. I uh, I enjoyed watching it at the premiere, and from what I'm understanding, it's been sold out all over the country. I've yeah. got friends texting me from everywhere, telling me they've been trying to see it all weekend, and it's sold out. Yeah. So I, I I hear it was like a 40 million dollar opening weekend, which is fantastic. So between Moneyball's opening and and you know subsequent success, and now Safe House, it, things are going well. Great, and Battleship is also coming out for you soon. Yeah, Battleship comes out May 18th. That's uh, Peter Berg directed. Uh, uh, Liam Neeson, Taylor Kitsch, Alexander Skarsgård, Rihanna, uh, a bunch of international stars. And it's, I mean, it's a huge budget film, like $200 million film. I mean, this, the effects are incredible. I saw things in the trailer that I, three or four things in the trailer that I'd never seen in a movie. Wow. So if, you know, if I can see three or four things in just the trailer, in a, you know, a minute and a half long trailer, imagine what the movie's going to be like. And Peter Berg is, 
a genius. I mean, he's you know he's very instrumental in my career. He gave me my first big break in the rundown, and we've worked together uh, several times. So anything he puts his hands on, I want to be a part of, and I and it's it's going to turn out well. Wonderful. Well, thank you so much, and best of luck at the Oscars and with all your upcoming projects. Oh, well, thank you very much. I hope uh, I hope these things turn out uh, as well as they have been in the past. Battleship, I, I can't imagine it not. And. You know, I send prayers up every night for Brad and Jonah and, and all of us uh, with Moneyball that, that these awards come to us. But if not, you know, like they say, it's always just nice to be nominated. There's very few sports movies that get even nominated for Oscars. So, you know, we, you know, Peter Berg told me once before, a very wise man, and he said, we don't do it for awards, we do it for ourselves. So, you know, just to be a part of it and then to have it go to this point is, is good enough for me. Amazing. And we can find you on IMDb. Is there anywhere else that we can look you up? Uh, yes. Uh, my Twitter uh, profile is at Stephen C. Bishop, uh, Stephen with a PH. Uh, you can find me on Facebook. Uh, you can go to stephenbishop.net mm -hmm. uh, and IMDb, like he okay. said. So Perfect. Well, I'm thank you again, Stephen. Thank you very much for having me. I appreciate it. Yeah. I'm Katie Ellman reporting for TTNHD Production Live.